Nimesema Pastor Michael ako na apology. Na basi na kuandika Pastor baba yao. Pastor baba yao ni yeye wa bishop. Alilafikia sana. Karibu sana baba. Nafikia kwa otuba ya pasta baba yao hivi ndivyo halivyosema Bwana asifiwe amtaka ah ayako roto mtani ikifika post wetu atajazoea Kiswahili so sometimes unasikia mtu hata anaingia kizungu kuliko Kiswahili but uh, nashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ameniwezesha kali kimoja nikiongea hicho hicho kiswahili praise the lord niko na furaha kwa sababu ya bwana kuleta mahali hapa it is quite some time since i was here nakumbuka mara ya mwisho nilikuwa hapa nilikuwa na kumisho baada ya kurudi kwetu covid ikaingia hatujaweza kurudi tena lakini nimemtangulia kwa sababu mwezi wa nane atakuwa post region. Msaidizi huyu wa askofu mkuu Julius Joroge alieleza kwa kina tabia mbalimbali alizojifundisha huko Lamu mmoja ikiwa aliwajua kama watu wanaomcha Mungu tena wanaopenda askofu wao. Na kuna mambo mengi sana achidiko nimeona siku waifikiria iko hivi niliona pande yetu ya hii na yetu ya lamu watu wanapenda Mungu sana wako na bidii sana ya Mungu na pia wako na mapenzi sana kwa ajili wao mahali tulifadhiliwa kwa kukaa siku hizo kila asubuhi tulikuwa tunapata watu wawili ama watatu wamekuja kuangalia vile tumelala na tumeamka na mwanadamu Mchana unapata tuko na wengine na jioni pia kabla na tulale alikuwa hoteli kwa mkaawa wako pale wanataka kuona vile tu so hiyo ni kitu nilichangaza sana vile hao watu wako na furaha kuwa na mshoko wao karibu na nitatarajia hata nyinyi uko hivi wale ni watoto wenu makanisa yao yako chini sana na unasikia watu tulienda ramu kiziwani unapata watu wote wanaambiwa askofu wetu amekuja hata kule mtaani askofu wetu ndio huyu ndio huyu so you see this, those people were so much happy for seeing their bishop amewatembea so nikakuwa so much challenged na wale wa so tumeingia jana jioni na niko na furaha kwamba sasa tuko njiani tukirudi kwetu baada kuacha kwa mazetu kwa wiki kama hii I was asking the bishop now na sitaki asikie kumuliza sasa bishop wakati unakuja hapa unakaa hii muda yote ama tunaendana muda do these people cater for you because nimeangalia kutoka la that the ile matumizi tumetumia na mwambie kama nikijitolea wewe ndio ndio na kati nimekuwa miaka sana ya vile vile aliachwa mdomo wazi kwa safari ndefu ya zaidi ya maili 860 ambapo alishangaa askofu kwa miaka yote Uendesha gari hadi Lamu Mombasa na kurudi tena vila ya kuwa na msaidizi. Nilikuwa naambiwa kutoka kwetu Nairobi hadi Lamu. 850 km. 850 km. Now if you are driver or you have a car around you with the station you have with the fuel you can tell the much this car consumed. Or is a lot. And all was because of that service to the people of Christ. Si kazi yako ilikuwa ni kazi ya Kristo. Hata ikabidi nikamtumia kibishop tukiwa na mkutano wa wachungaji sasa ndio jioni. Nikampigia na WhatsApp ya waone. And I had to prepare him. 
because next time they'll be going to Ram, not reach dinner. So I had to prepare him early in advance the kilometers we are going to consume before we get to that place. Alikuwa na tukas up, at his is around 850 kilometers. So when I could do it, Aliwahakikishia wapwani walivyo na askofu wanayependa unduma. Praise the Lord. So with all this I wanted to say that uko na bishop hapa na moyo wa unduma. It's not just by that. Hapa na moyo wa unduma. Praise the Lord. So najua asidiko na mtu atakuwa hapa ataongea mengi. Because we see kosa mambo kadhaa hivi hivi kutoka hapa kwa ofisi so what you need to smile and you and I as for what I'm gonna pass yeah I'm here so can you send a bishop to get in a while to work on the bus as I'm going to catch you now yes kofu kwa hotu by a king as kofu alieleza kwa kina sababu ambazo sinafanya mafuta mombasa uchelewe shwa akisema ni kwa vile ni mjini na baadhi ya waumini huwa wameondoka na kwenda mashambani kwa anjili ya sherehe za pasaka. Kwa hivyo naangalia naona hiyo hodi ilikuwa mrefu lakini tunasema ni nguvu na uwezo kwa Mwenyezi Mungu basi wae tumefikisha wakati huu. Aliomba wanaotaka boma zao kubarikiwa wajiandikishe ili baada ya kupokea mafuta hayo hapo siku ya Jumapili katika ibada kuu itakayofanyika hapo kanisa kuu la Makande kutoka wiki ya nyingine wachungaji wajulishwe ili waanze kubariki boma zao pamoja na mahali pa biashara Alieleza ugumu anaopitia wakati wa mikutano mikuu ya kanisa. Kulingana na sheria askofu alisema ni hayo makanisa nne yanayopaswa kufunguliwa kwa sasa. Pia watu wale hizo kanisa nne ndio wanapokana kwa
hapo makanisa yote yaliweza kupokea kalenda akisema hata wale hawajalipa ni vyema kupokea ndio wawe wanakumbuka wako na ndeni kingine kilichogawanywa ratiba ya masomo ya mwaka huu alikuwa 